together you know and I have romantic relationships where maybe folks like aren't interested in all the aspects that you would think of I feel like in queer relationships we always are skirting outside of like heteronormative like mm -hmm. expectations and ideologies and I really like incorporating that in every relationship I have so I love that I like to fill out relationship <laughs> anarchy charts okay. yeah <laughs> <That's a cool laughs> you tell me you fill out that you fill out a chart I do I send charts to every new relationship where I'm like hey let's talk about boundaries and expectations <laughs> and make sure that like we can be on the same page so that like we can have harm reduction. I don't want to say eliminate hurt because hurt happens. Hurt happens. In any relationship you have. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I want us to be able to like show up and take care of each other. So this is a way to do that. That is hot. I got you. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, not lying. I just want to do that too. It can be both. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm open to both. Amazing. Okay, so we're looking for a little anarchy, but we're also looking for a little spontaneity. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm down to clown. If anyone knows me, I am down to clown. I'm committed to a bit. Oh. Like, I want to oh, do I it all. Oh, I love commitment to a yeah. bit. We, yeah. We love a bit. You're, you, you're, like, you're a very silly and energetic and fun person, and you need someone to like just like... Match that. match that. I need to match that. I need, I need the banta. I yes. need the banta. I need you to be in a silly, goofy mood with me yes. at all times. Like, yeah. yeah. I love that. That's that is so cool because your your job is very um, heavy. You work a lot within the queer community and yeah. helping people learn and educate them. And so your, your life outside of work should be fun. Yeah, and I have two jobs. Great. One of them is more heavy. Yeah, yes. Probably. Uh, I work at Brave Space Alliance, uh, which is Woo! a black-led uh, black trans-led organization uh, that operates in the south and west side of Chicago, uh, providing resources that are for us, by us, for community. I do training, so mm -hmm. educating people on topics like gender identity, sexual orientation, police and prison abolition, all those yes. are like near and dear to my heart. Uh, mm -hmm. So yeah. And so that's what you do? For a living, yeah. and you get paid to do it. I do. And so, in your relationships, yes. you do not want to be a teacher. I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired. I educate people like as a job, like yes. as a career. So I really want to be in a relationship where I don't feel like I have to constantly like teach or educate that person. If anything, I want us to learn and grow together. Together, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You like to just spend time with people. You said that. It, like one of your favorite dates to do is just like errand dates to just like spend the day together mm -hmm. driving them around because you are a self-proclaimed good driver i am the only good driver yes! in chicago <laughs> and it is like a burden i carry on <laughs> <laughs> it physically weighs on so being the only person in the city who knows how to drive yeah Absolutely. Oh. i did fully really admit that i've only had good drivers 60 percent of the time there can only be one of us and it's, it's me it's you it's me it's you. <laughs> <laughs> but you like just being together. Yeah. You like doing errands. You like just 
like that, that that's small stuff. Yeah. You know? Like every night doesn't need to be a big a big show, a big outing. You're like, we'll just spend time together. Granted, I do love a you big love outing. A big outing. <laughs> I do I do love. Will you share with the people how you celebrate your birthday every year? I will. I <laughs> believe that my birthday should be a national holiday. <laughs> so every year I do a three day long event yes. minimum. Sometimes yes. more. Because I practice relationship anarchy, right? And because I have so many different relationships in my life, mm -hmm. I like to make something that feels inclusive to all the different relationships I have and all the different people that I share my life with. So I like to make each day as like a list of like 10 events that are going on. And I'm like, you can pick and choose what you want to go to. Like mm -hmm. some people want to go to every single thing. Some people are like, I love you. I will be here and nowhere else. <laughs> And so when, like, I like to have a celebration, I like to have it be like a big event, you know. Yeah. So. You um, have very strong and close relationships with your friends and your community. Community yeah. is incredibly important to you. Your, your grandma is your bestie. I love her. My grandma Judy is my best friend in the entire world. We, we stand her. her. On my Instagram, I'll post a photo. People would be like, Grandma Judy! Like, <laughs> she grandma? is her own celebrity, right? <laughs> Uh, I love her. She's a hoot and a holler. Like, yeah. I, she lives in Aurora, which is my hometown, like an hour away. I drive out there twice a month to go see her. Like, yeah, adorable. I love her, truly. You told me that um, when you start seeing someone new that they have to pass a test with your friends. Yeah, you have to go to brunch. Uh, when I start dating someone new, <laughs> I bring them to a brunch with my friends, and we all go together, and you have to, like, pass the brunch to continue dating me. Very few people have passed brunch. <laughs> Very few people have passed brunch. Not to be intimidating, but I also just date really bad people. <laughs> 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 testosterone for a couple years now and he makes you horny honestly okay. that's his tea <laughs> <laughs> that was not a <laughs> amazing so with ha with having a high sex drive do you need an emotional connection with someone to sleep with them or are you like a first thing we fucking I mean <laughs> I talked about brain space. My other job is I work at a radio station. Uh, I work at a black and brown queer and trans owned and operated radio station. What's it called? It's called E3 Radio, the letter oh. E, the number three radio, uh, which stands for Educate, Empower, and Entertain. Yes. Nice. And I love it so much. I'm the director of community partnerships, so I get to do like uh, audio and video of concerts. I get to interview artists. I get to go to like Chicago pop ups. So like, if you need a concert plug, I know, the form is right there. But I really do love pop punk music. I feel like it is a dying genre that I'm trying to bring back so hard. So. Yeah. Rip pop with forever. Forever. Okay. Yeah. Pass the microphone and have everyone introduce themselves and share their pronouns. Yes, please. Thank you. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> uh, Theo, they them pronouns, please. Hi, Mason. Uh, any pronouns? 
Uh, Yasmin, she, her, kind of questioning. Uh, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Moon. Love Moon. that. Love that. Okay. Carter, do you have a question for these lovely people? Imagine like a radio station, like you called in, and they were like, "Yo, like you just want tickets to your like dream lineup. I want to know what band is headlining." And I want to know at least two bands that are like opening for that. Come on, Carter. Yes. That's oh, cool. yes. Thank you. Yeah, you're doing good questions. You know? <laughs> you're good at questions. I try. Um, Thank you. I, I think that inherent to this question is perhaps deciding which band is the bigger deal and which would be headlining and which would be opening. So it's your show. I, I refuse to engage in that. Wow. <laughs> oh. um, oh. yeah. I, I don't know. or something like that. She's wearing all white. She was the most incredible like, <laughs> person I've ever seen in my life. So I would just want her there for the vibes alone. Uh, oh, and wow. that's my answer. <laughs> <laughs> I think for my headliner, I'm going to start big, Arctic Monkeys. Um, I know they have a show upcoming, but I just refuse to pay a lot of money for a 300 seat. So we'll see if I do get last minute tickets. Um, and then openers. Hmm? This one might be controversial, Hobo Johnson. Um, I saw him. Oh, Peach Stone. Peach. Honestly. I've seen him in 2020. I'm going to see him again in 2023, 2021 when I saw him. And Flip Turn, small Florida indie band. They're very cool. I saw him twice last year. Oh, nice. Great answer. Great answer. <laughs> okay, please pick your date. Oh, it's time? It's time! Because oh, it's, it's almost Rachel's time, so let's go! Oh, yeah, go. you're right, you're right. Do you want a drum roll? Yeah! Yes. I'm gonna pick Yasmin. Yeah. Yeah. 